Hello viewers, I am Aitli. Today we are going to see 11 CBSC Max Straight Lines Exercise 10.1 Question number 7. Let's see the question. Find the slope of a line which makes an angle 30 degree with the positive direction of y axis measured anti clockwise. Only if you draw the diagram you will understand the concept here. They have given one straight line. Let me draw a straight line passing through the origin. So if this is my straight line. You know this is x axis. This is y axis. This will be my straight line. Here find the slope of the line which makes an angle 30 degree with the positive direction of y axis. We know that this is the positive direction of y axis. And this will be the negative direction of y axis. Here it makes a angle 30 degree with the positive direction of y axis measure the uh, we need to find the slope of the line here yeah. anti clockwise is you know this is anti clockwise so this is the 30 degree we, we to find the slope slope is always with the base the base uh, it should read the slope is the angle with the base that is with the horizontal line here yeah. this is the horizontal line the slope of this line will include this this is the angle of the slope so you know that this is 90 degree because of the perpendicular of x axis and y axis this will be of 90 degree so total angle will be 120 because of 90 plus 30 we can directly say that angle of the slope of the line is 30 plus 90 degree which is 120 degree with the horizontal x axis. Now we need to find tan 120 because we know that m is equal to tan theta. The formula is m is equal to tan theta. Here m is equal to tan angle is 120 so tan 120. We can split tan 120 as tan 180 minus 60 degree now th this becomes tan 180 minus 60 will become minus tan 60 because of this here 180 is this minus will come to second quadrant second quadrant tan is negative so minus tan 60 we need to consider both even the value as well as the sign where it lies it lies in the second quadrant second quadrant tan negative so minus uh, tan 60 is root 3 minus root 3. So slope of the line is minus root 3. That's all with the sum. Thank you.